Hello, this is Mike Ewells with Case IH. I'd like to discuss the multifunction controller used in our Maxim multi-controller tractor all the way to our Steiger tractor. Uh, we'll talk in terms of both power shift and CVT and I'll point out the differences. First of all, our shuttle. Okay, there is a button. You can hear it and you, know, you can feel it with your index finger behind the multifunction handle. That is very important. If you push and hold that button in, you will be able to shuttle from forward to reverse accordingly. Also, if you're in a Steiger tractor, if you tap that button behind the handle one time and shift, up shift, down shift, you will be able to do a single shift instead of a skip shift. So that button behind the handle is very important. Also on the Maxim multi-controller, it will give us the ability to shift between 4 and 5 and 12 and 13. So those are very important. That's a very important button behind the multifunction handle. So with that being said, let's talk a little bit more about the buttons up front here. This rabbit and turtle, their function is to upshift, downshift on a power shift tractor or on a CVT, we're changing the set points that are located on the A-pillar. F1, F2, F3, or R1, R2, R3. So it changes our set points. On tractors that are equipped with up to five remotes, this will control number five remote, or more commonly, it will control number one remote on tractors that do not have five remotes. This also works with the timer. So if you set your timer on your tractor to raise or lower your implement in a certain time, it will work with that as well. You have your quick raise, three-point hitch controls here. On the CVT tractors, we have the thumb wheel. Okay, that thumb wheel changes our set point. So if we use our buttons here to change the set point, we can go down here to adjust the set point to the ground speed that we would like to have. And finally, our end of row button. The end of row button is to activate our end of row sequence after we've recorded and played it. And we're playing it back, we use it to start the sequence. Okay, or cycle through the functions. Finally, that button can be used if you're not ha, do not have a sequence recorded. You can actually use it to toggle between your constant engine speeds. You turn the constant engine speed on, use the button, and now you can toggle between a high and low set point depending on what you have your constant engine speed set at. So that is the multifunction handle for the Case IH armrests.